perspective, but I want to welcome in the rest of the panel before we do that. Um, we've got a great panel this morning, former Nevada State GOP chairwoman and Republican strategist Amy Tarkanian, Project 21 National Advisory Board member Christopher Arps is here, and editor at large of The Hill, Steve Clemens, back with us after uh, a Hawaiian vacation. Steve, you were in Hawaii, right? Absolutely. Big Island all the way. It's all volcanoes. Oh, just fantastic. Talk all right. about carbon emitters. That's right. Yes. Yeah, well, you got you to emit some carbon to get there unless you go by, unless you paddle yourself over, which is a long ways. Um, all right. If you were an expert of something and you'd been talking about something for a long time, if you wanted me right now to spend the rest of the show just ad-libbing about the New England Patriots and Tom Brady, I, I could do that without batting an eye. It'd be the most boring television ever, but I could do it. AOC has been talking about the Green New Deal for as long as she's been thinking about elected office and then as long as she's been in con uh, Congress. Here's AOC talking about the Green New Deal. Tell me if she sounds like an expert. Take a listen, Steve. We must recognize in legislation that the trampling of indigenous rights is a cause of climate change. The, the trampling of racial justice is a cause of climate change because we are allowing people and we are allowing ourselves to make sure, to, we are allowing folks to deny ourselves human rights and deny people the right to health care, the right to housing and education. I'll tell you what, Steve, crack of the bat, I just heard it. She knocked that one out of the park. A lot of converts in that yeah, crowd. Yeah, right over the back of her head, right. I think. I mean, that that was um, as, as about as incoherent. Look, there there is a move to try to grab every cause uh, that one care about, some of which I, I do care about. I do care about indigenous rights. I do care about racial rights, but to link them to climate change and to create a sort of litmus test that if you're for one thing, you're for another, and not leave these things where they are. You know, I, I do believe that there are things that we need to do uh, to clean up this world and climate change, but I do not connect them uh, to to the rights issues that uh, 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 Representative Ocasio-Cortez just talked about. So, I, you know, I think there's a problem in this country of creating litmus tests for that it's really very tribal. You know, if you if you belong to this tribe, you believe in these things. It doesn't move policy forward. All right. I want to uh, well, talk about doing that. They're infusing racial justice into their uh, climate change plans and agenda. Very much so. Absolutely. Um, we had this uh, we had the Derek Chauvin verdict a day ago and now we have this uh, the shooting in Columbus, Ohio. Um, this again, this is, I think, why body cameras are so important. Emerald, I want to get your opinion about that. What we saw. What's fascinating to me is the way it's being covered. I think there was a time in this country where instead of LeBron James sending out a tweet saying you're next. Uh, and the hashtag accountability, I think there was a time in this country where the headline would have been police officer saves life, which is, if you watch the video, it's very clear that that, that is what this police officer may have done. Emerald, uh, what are your thoughts? Well, the media, uh, along with the Democrat Party, have an agenda and what they'd like to see on police reform and every example they can get to back that up. They run with it, and that's what you saw the White House do yesterday, which was quite irresponsible. Jen Psaki uh, making comments about that shooting, uh, suggesting that it, it, you know, it was different than it was. She left out the major, major part of that in that this officer uh, was stopping one teenage girl from attacking another teenage girl with a knife that could have been life-threatening for the other teenage girl. Yeah. So there was no wait and see. It was to further their uh, agenda on police reform. Hey, Chris, I want to play a soundbite from uh, Senator Tom Cotton. He was on Newsmax last night on with Greg Kelly, and he talked about this tweet that LeBron James sent out. Uh, it, it looks like it's, a, you know, sometimes people tweet impulsively and then they regret it. Um, I, I think that's probably the situation here, but take a look at what the senator had to say about LeBron James in the tweet. LeBron James consistently shills for the Chinese Communist Party for the sake of making a few bucks in the Chinese market, yet he immediately jumps to the worst kind of conclusions about his fellow citizens who are trying to protect our streets and keep our community safe. He ought to be ashamed of himself and he ought to apologize. At what point here, Chris, does LeBron James need to be accountable? And we have that tweet as well, but he sends out this tweet calling for accountability and, and basically putting a bullseye on this, uh, this police officer's head there in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, I don't understand how celebrities like LeBron James and Oprah Winfrey and people that have basically made it in this country, how they can tear down their country at the same time. It's very hypocritical. And I think they get caught up in this woke mob. And I also think 
they espouse these type of uh, opinions because they don't want to be criticized and they want to jump on, on the bandwagon. Uh, LeBron James is, has had everything in this country and he should be grateful for that instead of trying to tear the country down and should be finding solutions instead of just inflaming passions. Hey, uh, Amy, I want to get your same thoughts on the same, very same question. He won't be held accountable. In fact, something as simple as Twitter even slapping a warning on that tweet or even, um, you know, banning him either right. temporarily or permanently. That's not going to be done. He won't be held to the same standard as as you or I, unfortunately. No, I think you make a good point. And, and to be honest, you know, LeBron James, I, there was this basically you don't want to say just that 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 quote that that shut up and just play basketball or take the ball whatever that was from a couple of years ago because that doesn't help at all but when lebron james does something like this it impacts the people who follow him and it does nothing but further divide instead of dealing with the facts panel will pick this back up on the other side 